one thing and why it's perhaps important to go to one of these rallies is to understand why he does have supporters. These people are part of a fascist cult. And let's be honest, there are a lot of them, but a lot of them doesn't mean that they're behaving logically or rationally. To the contrary, we've seen in other fascist regimes that millions of people, sometimes even a majority of the country, becomes intoxicated with an authoritarian figure. And these people are utterly irrational. If you speak to some of them, they will give, they will spit back these bizarro conspiracy theories. They actually believe in all of the mumbo jumbo that he tells them. Um, so I think it would be a wake up call about what these people are about. And no, we're not going to convince people who are part of the cult to switch. As you say, they're impervious to any kind of data, any kind of information. But what you have to do if you care about democracy is mobilize the people who already know what he's a danger and reaffirm and reeducate the people people who are perhaps kind of flirting in the middle of their soft Republicans, they're never Republicans, about the danger of going back to Trump. And I think that's the job between now and November, and that's the challenge for the Biden administration. I if you speak to some of them, they will give, they will spit back these bizarro conspiracy theories. I got a conspiracy theory about you and me. Cause no one can really say all that you said then leave Some glitch in the simulation that would explain a lot But I got my own suspicions of